And the question here is how do I get this approximation? And the first thing is there's a typo here. So k here should be 1. The filter size is 3. So it's not k equal to 3. k is 1, and the filter size is always 2k plus 1. So the re reason is that if you have a filter, a 3 by 3 filter, we usually call this entry 0. I mean, I mean this column, 0 column, this is minus 1 column and 1 column. And for the rows, it's minus 1 row, 0 and 1. So that number will be k. So usually, if you have a kernel, it's minus k until 0 and k. So in total, there are 2k plus 1. It's a 2k plus 1 by 2k plus 1 matrix, and that's the filter size. So let's go back to this particular one. Mm, we had the formula, which is 1 over square root 2 pi sigma and e to the power minus t squared plus t prime squared divided by 2 sigma squared. So here, we know that sigma is 0 0.8, so we can substitute that in. And t and t prime are basically the index of this filter. So here, t would be, be minus 1, 0, 1, and t prime would be the column number minus 1, 0, 1. So we can figure out each one by just substituting numbers in here. So basically, for example, for this entry here, it's t is minus 1, t prime is minus 1. For this entry here, t is m minus 1, t prime is 0. And similarly, t is minus 1, t prime is 1, and so on. But it's symmetric, so it doesn't matter where, whether you, put, you say t is the column number or t is the row number. So similarly, this is t is 0, t prime is 0, and so on. You can fill in all the other ones. Given each one, you just substitute these two numbers in here. And then this thing, this whole thing, with sigma is 0 0.8, will be a number. And if you put it into a calculator, it will be approximately 1 over 16, which is this number here. And there's a 1 over 16 outside, so you can multiply it inside. So this is 1 over 16. This is 1 over 8, 1 over 16, and so on. So basically, if you're substituting all of these things inside as t and t prime and compute this expression, you'll get the numbers in this filter.